Hey everyone, my name is Benji Barlev and I am a congregational rabbi here in Columbus, Ohio. And I spent 16 summers of my life on those magical 106 acres of Camp Interlock and JCC in Eagle River. When I think about the people and places and events that shape my life, other than my family and my upbringing, I think that camp had the biggest influence on me and in so many ways helped me to become the person who I am today. It's hard to put into words what camp means to me. And in fact, like every time I even talk about Camp Interlaken, I start to get a little choked up. I spent 16 summers at Interlaken, but I didn't start camp as a small child. It wasn't until I was a teenager that I went to camp and realized instantly that I had been missing out. I remember my first night at camp thinking, this is my place. These are my people. It was at camp that I first felt special, that I felt like I was funny and that I could make people laugh. It's also where I first found these deep and lifelong friendships that uh, extend into my life even today. I remember one year in Kafar, my counselors trusted me to write the script for and organize a staff meeting raid where we Kafarniks would break into an all staff meeting that night that was happening in the Khadar, perform a funny shtick and then steal their staff nosh. I think that was one of the first times that I, I really felt like a leader that I could lead a group of people and do something like this. And uh, those staff nachos were really delicious. So thank you for those. Camp's also where I first connected on a spiritual level to my Judaism. Those camp melodies and traditions, the warmth and the love of celebrating together became a part of me and are still a part of me today. If you attend my synagogue's Shabbat services, you'll notice that Many similarities exist between camp and what we do today, and that's not by accident. Yes, I did learn a lot of Jewish songs and prayers and traditions from camp, and I still draw from that well today. But what I really learned at camp was how Judaism feels, that inner connection, that joy of a huge community of friends singing together and dancing together laughing together and sweating together on Friday nights and celebrating together. I don't think I realized at the time how holy those moments were, and I certainly didn't know how transformative they would become in my life. So much of the joy and the acceptance and the love that I hope imbue my rabbinate today can be traced back to camp. It's just a part of who I am. Camp was my first congregation the place that showed me that maybe I could actually be a leader, maybe a rabbi. I was there for a long time, first as a camper and then an ozo and a counselor. I was a unit leader for every unit. I was the Judaic director, Papa Ozo a couple times. I was even video specialist one year. I was not qualified for that. Uh, during that whole time, I woke up early and did the camp morning wake up show for many years. I feel fortunate to have brought traditions to camp that are still there today, though I am a little shocked that our Welcome to Havdalah song is still being sung today. Uh, I spend a lot of time giving back to this place that means so much to me, but I could have worked at camp for 20 more years and never repaid the debt to a place that's so instrumental in making me who I am today. I am forever grateful for those precious acres on the shores of Lake Finley and hope that many future generations of campers will continue to have these amazing opportunities that camp will mean to them what they have, what it's meant to me.